By the way, we want no judgment in this comment section. We want support and suggestions, okay? <laughs> Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you would like to build a beautiful online presence for your business, Squarespace is the place for you, and you can use code Molly Burke to get 10% off your purchase of a website or domain name. Hello, and welcome to my very unprofessional blind girl hair curling tutorial. We're thrilled to have you. Look, I might look professional right now because we've got a blue backdrop up, but what is behind that backdrop is far from professional. There is a couch, coffee table, and chair that we have to push out of the way to get this set up here. Um, and we have this set up here because the place was messy and we didn't want to show you, but we also didn't want to clean it. So now I'm just exposing all of my secrets. And on that couch, uh, there is a dog. You can guess which one. And on the chair, there is a cat. So. And in the bed, dog bed. There's another doggy. Oh, I hear a phone ringing. Sorry, I had to take a quick call break for a condo update um, in May. You will be seeing a tour, an updated tour of the condo and just updates on move-in and all of that. So make sure that notification bell is turned on if you want that condo update. Okay, let's talk about curling this hair. If you guys have been around for the years of hair content, then you know that I have straight hair. My hair is naturally straight. My hair is naturally very silky and soft and slippery, you could say. Bleaching has definitely very much helped with that. Though my hair is feeling fabulously healthy. I am about to go in on May 6th to get my roots done, which desperately needed, as you can see. My hair grows very fast, but I'm also only bleaching my hair like every four to six months. So that's also why my roots are very long. I haven't had them done since like early December, late November. My hair has also grown a lot. If you guys know oh, yes. it really has grown a lot. Here, I feel like overnight I was like, oh, I have, I have long hair. Yeah. See, look at that, guys. Growing. Oh, For yeah. those who can't see, it's like right above the nips, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what? It is. It's like literally exactly where it sits. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Best measurement tool, right? Am I? No? Wrong? So my hair is, I took a long, uh, took me a long time to understand like what my hair type is. Um, because I have thick hair, but the strands are thin. So what I've realized is I have fine hair, which means like the strands are really thin and soft, but there's a lot of it. So it's like, it's fine hair that's thick. I don't know, hairdressers comment and let me know if I'm describing that properly. But anyways, because my hair is straight and there's a lot of it, it can get weighed down very easily. It doesn't hold style very well. Um, but like I said, bleaching has really helped bring a little bit more texture to it and a lot more hold. Hair curling is something, I feel like we all, look, we all want the hair we don't have. I feel like the grass is always greener. Us girls with straight hair, we always want curled hair. And the girls with curled hair, I feel like often want straight hair. It's just one of those things. It's the life cycle of, of hair. And I have always struggled with curling my own hair. I have bought many tools over the years to attempt to curl my own hair. I did this awful video that I deeply regret to my core years ago trying to curl my hair. Um, it was bad. I only did it like a handful of times before I was like, no, this is bad. And never picked up that tool again and then gave it to a friend. Um, that was with the Chi Automatic Rotating Curler. I bought that because I thought that that would be a good option. Proudly made a bad tutorial. And here we are today. Uh, I gave up um, for a long time if I wanted beach waves or curled hair, I just would go to a hairdresser and have them style it for me. But that's annoying. So I've continued the quest. I got the Dyson Airwrap, which is probably my freaking favorite hair tool I've ever owned in my life. And ironically, I got it to be able to curl my hair and then have been too scared to try it. So I just used the blow dryer and the blowout brush and the straightening brush. My mom is also now hooked on the Dyson Airwrap. It's bad. My hair, my hair has <laughs> never been so good in my damn life since I got that tool. <sighs> Chef's kiss, phenomenal. By the way, anything I talk about will be linked down below for your shopping ease. Um, but yeah, that that's the best. And when I came here and put all my stuff in storage, where it still all is right now, uh, I only took the attachments to my Dyson that I actually use. So the curling iron attachments are in storage, but this, what I'm going to show you today, has inspired me to pick up the Dyson Airwrap and try to curl my hair with it. So once those are out of storage, I'm going to try it. But let's cut to the chase. What I've been using, 
the Babyliss Mirror Curl Pro. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Babyliss, Babyliss. Now you might be wondering, Molly, you've been using this, but it's in the box. <laughs> <laughs> well, friends, uh, by the way, this is not sponsored. I purchased this with my own money, not once, but twice. <laughs> So yes, this one is new and in its box because it is the second one I purchased in the past few months. The first one got lost in Los Angeles. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but anytime I lose something expensive and I'm sad about it, I just tell myself that the person who found it like desperately needed a hair curler and she's living her best life curling away, you know? <laughs> she's having flawless hair days every day thanks to my misplacement. It's in one of two hotels. We called both and neither have it. <laughs> Like, where did it go? <laughs> so where did it go? Best believe it didn't grow legs. Uh, <laughs> so I think somebody with hands found it and walked away with it. And may she live her best life, okay? May she have flawless hair days every day. This is totally a side note. I don't worry. I already know there's going to be comments that are like, Molly makes too long of intros. The intro is part of the video. <laughs> it's half the fun, okay? Get over it. Either skip to the hair curling portion, the link with the time code is down below, or enjoy my craziness and be here for the ride. <laughs> you know what you clicked on. Molly rambles. We're well aware. It's been seven and a half years. Okay, anyways, it's fine. So, um, <laughs> when I went for my that first job. At... <laughs> Thank you. I like things so. up. Mm. When I went for my first job interview, this is all thanks to caffeine, by the way, um, at 15 at the YMCA, I wore a fresh, crisp new pair of Lululemons that I could not afford to own. But I think every young beauty and fashion lover has at one point in their life at least bought a product or piece of clothing that they couldn't afford, but they did it anyway. They were like, I will forgo lunch for a good booty and a pair of pants. You know, um, I can't be alone in that. So I did it. I did it. I admit it. And I also, for some reason, thought that wearing Lululemons to a job interview was my best move. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? I wore Lululemons to my first job interview. Like, who was I? Where okay, was it was a different time. It was 2009. What was the interview? YMCA. Oh, I got the fine. job. Oh, so. yeah. The YMCA is okay, Molly, for your Lululemons. I mean, what else are you going to wear? Like a suit? <laughs> to the YMCA? <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm applying for like a fitness center, you know, I wanted yeah. to look the part. Anyways, I went to the change room after. This was the first time I ever wore these Lululemons. I went to the change room after and I changed out of this really professional outfit to be in something more casual for the rest of my day. Left the Lululemons on the floor. No. They were never found again. Oh. Um, and that was heartbreaking because as I said, could not afford them, bought them anyways, wore them once, poof, gone. Oh. Thankfully I got a job so I then could afford them. Yeah. But, um... I just told myself, I was like, somebody really needed those pants. Somebody really needed them. <laughs> That's how I get over it. So if you lose something and you miss it, just tell yourself the person deserved it. Yeah. Anyways, I have done this a few times. I am by no means good at it, okay? But it's hard to mess it up. This thing is so easy to use. If you are a fellow blind girl or you're simply bad at curling your hair, again, this is linked below and you need to buy it because it is so easy to use. Now, I did a TikTok trying to use it for the first time ever. Now, this is going to be my fourth time ever. This is how it comes packaged. We could definitely lose the single-use plastic. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just think packaging is overkill. I'm like, did we need that? Absolutely not. We did not need that. That was just a, a waste. It's bad for the environment. And that's okay, Babyliss. I love you anyways. Okay, I hate these cord things that hold the cord. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm getting it. I don't know if anybody else's cat loves single-use plastic, but my cat loves it. We have to like hide it from her because she'll try to chomp on it. So basically, this product curls your hair for you. Now, word of warning, on the TikTok where I used it for the first time ever, a num a, like not a, not a huge amount of people, considering it got like 2 million views, but like a handful of people were like, oh my god, that ate my hair. And that was... <laughs> Don't leave your hair, please, today, Molly. Oh my please. god! Shh, don't even put that bad energy we did on the so world. So well last time. I just don't need any drama today. <laughs> you are the drama today. I am the drama today. Um. Anyways, so you need to you you need to follow the instructions. Fancy that. Um. When they write instructions, it's not just a waste of space. It's to tell you how to use it, because. I did at one point, one of the four times that I've done it so far, I did get my hair caught 
and it was because I was not holding it the direction it needs to be held. So solid plastic at the bottom and then the top you can feel an opening with like a circle in the middle. So the, there's like a chunky side and then a real thin side of plastic. I'm trying to be descriptive for my fellow blind folk in case you want to learn how to use this. Um, but for sighted people you can you can see. So the the thinner side where the circle does not suck your hair. You always want it it's facing. So bad. It I know. sucks your hair. It does. It sucks your hair inside. Yes, which is why I didn't buy it years ago when I went for the chi. I was like, I'm scared, but at this point I'm too desperate to be scared. <laughs> desperate for curls okay so basically this thinner side always needs to be facing you if this side faces you the chunky side your hair will get caught so you need to always make sure you're pinching with the thinner side facing you so you're gonna want to always hold it like that never flip it like that now there's two versions of this. Um, I got the more expensive version. I think it's like $50 more because I figured I should get the one that's more expensive so I can tell you guys if it's worth it. it. I would say you could definitely get away with just getting the cheaper one. The cheaper one has one setting. This one has three. That is the major difference. So this one has like loose waves, mid wave, and then tight curl. And the other one just has like the one curl setting. I only like the tightest curl setting because I like to be able to pull it out myself and loosen it myself. Um, but that's also because my hair drops easy. I find the two lighter settings like just don't give me enough of a curl for what I like. Uh, so that's why I would say you could just stick to the cheaper version if you want to save a little bit of coin. It also, you need to set it to the correct setting. There are different settings depending on what hair type you have. So if you have coarse hair, if you have bleached and fine hair, so obviously that is the setting I put it on because I have both bleached and fine hair. Um, so make sure you're putting it on the right setting for your hair type. Then I just like leave it. There also is settings for you can set it to go the curls left, right, or back and forth. I just put it on the back and forth setting and leave it. Molly for the next day here. Uh, this is super embarrassing, very blind girl moment. But um, well, I thought the correct setting had been on, which is where it rotates back and forth. The wrong setting was on, so my entire head curls the same direction. Um, I thought it was just the front curl, the whole half. Uh, so no need to comment and be like, oh my god, why didn't anyone tell her? I figured it out. Um, so yes, the ideal is you always either want both sides going backwards and then like meeting in the middle at the back, or you want them to rotate with the front pieces going back. So you always want your front two pieces going in the backwards direction, and then the rest of your head either flowing in that same direction or going backwards and forwards. The back and forth method gives you a more messy beachy look, and then when they all go uniform to the back, um, that gives you a more like polished look, so it just depends what you like. I like the back and forth look, which is why I wanted it on that setting, but that is not what happened. So, um, yeah, anyways, it's in a ponytail now, so nobody can tell. That way I don't have to worry that I've accidentally clicked the wrong button. I basically set my settings and I never touch them again, which sometimes means like my front curls end up curling forward instead of backwards, which absolutely irks me to no end, but like such is life. I'm, I'm doing my best. We are not striving for perfection. We're striving for our best and for happiness. And the fact that I can curl my hair without needing help or going to the hairdresser is enough for me. Even if it doesn't look perfect at the end, I'm just happy and pleased that I did it for myself. So it's the little things in life, you know? Um, so that's the machine. It's an aqua color for those who can't see, like a shiny aqua turquoise vibes. And then the other products I have here, by the way, if my hairdressers are watching, because I know a lot of you watch me from all my hair journeys, feel free to give any advice. Because again, this is only my fifth time total using this. I am a work in progress. So I'm going to use my wet brush. This has always been my favorite brush. I love the wet brush compared to the other brushes that I've used. I have this set of claw clips that I got from Amazon. I like love this thing so it's like set so much. It comes with these two different styles, one that's more like large and a kind of moon shape and then one that's more square shaped and or rectangular and smaller. I love and use both, though I'd say I use the smaller one more. And it came with six clips, um, three of each style 
and then three different colors, a like real nude, a brownie color, and then uh, black. Love these, and it was like under $15. So if you want to get in the claw clip trend, um, highly recommend. Also, just if you like using claw clips for styling, highly recommend. I use these for both styling and for um, like doing hairstyles. I use it to style my hair and I use it to, to put a style in my hair. I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, next up. For my heat protected, I use the Chi Iron Guard, I think it's called. It smells really good. It's like an oldie but a goodie. It's just... A really affordable price point I feel like um, I've used other ones but I I'm pretty scent sensitive so I didn't like the smells of a lot of like the Tresemme one that I tried once and yeah so this is the one I use though I have also used the a perfect day one which is also very good I'll have both of them linked below it's just more expensive so I'd rather tell you guys about the cheaper one um, this one's liquid and the a perfect day one is a cream so I guess it also just depends on your preference. I prefer to use the cream one when my hair is wet and I'm using it for blow drying. And I prefer to use the wet one when my hair is dry and I'm using it for heat styling with like a straightener or something. Then um, this is the dry shampoo that I've been using lately. I've never really been a dry shampoo fan. Um, this is the best I've found so far. It is the OGX, I believe it's called. Let me see. Moroccan oil one. So this is what, I think it's like $16 on Amazon around that price point. When it comes to dry shampoo, what I will do is I will put it in the night before, sleep with it, and then wake up. I still, I, I like it. It's the best I've tried, but I still don't love it. So leave your recommendations below. I just never find dry shampoo actually makes my hair feel clean. Next, this is the Puff Me texturizing spray so this is what i'm going to use instead of hairspray at the end of curling i'm going to use this uh dry texturizing spray it's pink which is super cute um nobody recommended this to me i simply found it on amazon and bought it because it is like one of those more clean products it doesn't have a bunch of icky stuff in it and i liked that also my mom used to use a puff me product for lift roots root lifting and loved it so I thought I'd try this product from them. It is a bit expensive. That's the only thing. I can you turn it around the other way. There we go. Oh, there we go. Design me. That's good. Enough. Oh, design me. Yeah. And then oh. puff, puff me. So it's design me. Design me is the brand, and then puff me is the product. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Either yeah. way, it'll be linked below. Yeah. But yeah, this. So design me and puff me. Yeah, it's cute. And um, this is my dry texturizing spray. So this is acting as a hold, like a hairspray would, but a hairspray just holds. Whereas as far as I understand, a dry texturizing spray gives the hold, but also helps give more texture to it. So I use this at the end and I use the Chi before, and then the night before I will often use the dry shampoo. I did not last night, full disclosure. Um, How do you keep up with all these products? I, I don't. <laughs> remember which was to put in when sharp yeah, memory sharp memory rolling <laughs> rolling on a river we're weird welcome to our household um so Yes, I will usually not use this tool on like first day clean hair. I usually use it on like two day old hair. So with all of that aside, <laughs> with all of my talking over with, here we go. Let's plug this lady in. All right. Well, you know where the fly be talking is. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't. I've never plugged into anything. You can find that now. But, oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I didn't want to bend over. I was just like, yeah. I know you didn't. For the price point, I feel like the, like, this could be, I don't know, like the plug could be nicer. It's the fine. plug could be nicer. <laughs> you know, well. Like blue? <laughs> no, you know, like, like my GHD straightener. Oh, yeah. It's oh, about yeah. the same price point, but it has, like, the larger base where you can click to different, like. Right. That's just like a. I don't know. Whatever. Um, it's not a big Design deal. Design and Molly. Uh, because we haven't, I haven't used this one yet, I'm going to need you to correct, oh, like, yeah. put the right settings. Right, right. Uh, Oof, girl, and you I'm like getting to... hungry. All right, I have it set to fine or bleached hair, uh, alternating curls, and the tightest curl option. And uh, I'm going to BRB because I got hungry, so I'm going on a berry snack break. 
Okay, snack is done and I'm feeling fueled. Let's get into finally curling my hair. Um, by the way, I do use this silicone mat. I highly recommend using a silicone mat. This one was like six bucks. And this one's actually really cool because um, it doesn't fit the babyliss. But if you have like a traditional straightener or curling iron, when it's still hot but you want to store it, you can just put it inside, which is neat. But I literally shattered a glass tabletop once with my hot styling tool. Do you remember that, Mom? Yeah, which tabletop was that one? My bedside table in high school. Oh, yeah, it had the glass on it. Yes. 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 Because apparently um, hot tools shatter glass. Um, and also, you don't want to put a hot tool on, like, say, your bedspread because that can catch fire. So putting it on a silicone mat protects the surface that it's on. Um, so would highly recommend that. Now I'm going to grab my chi. I do this a couple different ways. Sometimes I'll just like spray it all over like that. Um, other times I will spray it actually into my brush. So go like that and then brush it into the hair to make sure it gets like on every part of the hair. And sometimes I will spray section by section as I divide the hair. The only problem I find when I do that is sometimes I forget that I didn't do it already. And then it defeats the purpose. So I do divide my hair, which is why I have my claw clips. So I just take my fingers and feel like around... Kind of like just above the tops of my ears is where I divide first. And then I take the rest of the hair, pull it forward, and I like to use the small clip. And uh, I look super cute. I'm gonna spray a little more of my heat protectant. We don't damage the hair any more than is necessary. Um, girls who have the willpower to get up, oh, where the heck's the lid? Oh well, I don't care. <laughs> Blind girl moment, you know? Girls who have the like willpower to curl their hair every single day, bless you, okay? Because I feel like I didn't realize how privileged I am in having straight hair naturally. Because unless it's like frizzy or I slept on it weird and it got kinky, I don't have to do anything. Like in those cases, I'll have to straighten it a little bit. But most days, I don't have to do anything to my hair. And that saves so much time in the morning. Like even though this product styles my hair super quick, it's still like, 15, 20 minutes that most days I don't have to do when I just wear it straight. So I feel like very lucky to have straight hair. And uh, if you have the willpower to style your hair every day, good on you, because I sure don't. Now, I don't take very big sections. This is the other part. I feel like to get my ideal look, I would be able to take bigger sections. But again, we're not looking for perfection. We're just looking for independence and curls. I find like you can't take a super big chunk because that's the other thing that will make this eat your hair uh, is taking too large of a chunk. So I'm just very careful with it. And I take pretty small chunks. I'd say like no wider than an inch. And then before I straighten, I just brush each little chunk that I've taken. I'm starting at the front of my face and the rest of my hair is behind my shoulders. Now, like I said earlier, you're gonna take that flat side and put it close to you. I use the back of my hand. I hope, here, I'm gonna pivot a little bit so you can see it better. I take the back of the hand that is holding the hair. I put it against the, like the uh, styling tool and then I move forward and slide my hair in and that's when I'm gonna pinch. You'll hear that sound. Now, one thing that I love about this tool is it beeps. So the, you listen to the beeps and that's how you know you're done and can release. Okay, I haven't done this in so long and now I'm nervous after talking all about it eating hair. It's gonna be fine, good vibes. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, all the good vibes. It's gonna be fine. By the way, we want no judgment in this comment section. We want support and suggestions, okay? It's <laughs> <laughs> what we're looking for on today's video. Okay. Okay, okay, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> there it goes. Beep, 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 
is broken, maybe. Oh my god. So then I just go from back to front. So as I want to do each piece, I just pull it from the back to front. Once again, I grab my brush. I brush through it to make sure there's no tangles. That's another key part. And of course, you need to do this when your hair is dry. Wherever you pinch is where the curl is going to start. Um, so I pinch, I would say, like an inch from my root. I'd say that's about an inch. That's pinch where I'm gonna. Inch. That's where I'm gonna pinch. About an inch. Pinchy inchy. Pinch okay. an inch. And we repeat the process. It's a really weird feeling at first. I'm not gonna lie to you. At first, you're like, "Oh my god," but once like it works, you're like, "Oh." That ain't so bad. You start to trust. You gotta develop trust in her. It's a new relationship. You've got to bond and you've got to build trust. Did that work? Yes, yes. Here, actually, let's come out of your hair as long as I have to go down. Look at that. We're doing it, it's ladies beautiful. and gentlemen. We're doing it. It's beautiful. On our own. The back is always the hardest. I feel like that's like no matter what styling tool you're using, the back is going to be the hardest. But uh, thankfully, for the most part, I'm facing front, okay? So the back is never gonna look as good as the front when you're styling your own hair. I think that goes for sighted people, blind people, any tool you use, it's just not going to be the easiest. My curls definitely start lower in the back because I simply can't reach. Like, that's just what it is. So this is a pretty big chunk. I hope it's not too big. Maybe I should make it smaller. <laughs> How long does this take? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes? When I'm not chatting. Yeah. <laughs> So I won't, I'll obviously speed up a section for you guys so you don't have to sit through me yimmery yammering this whole time. So at the back, because this is very much the back of my head, again, this is where you want to make sure it's facing the correct direction. Look at you been a teacher. <laughs> yeah, but like, really, should people be listening? Probably not. <laughs> but here we all are. And let me tell you about today's sponsor. Squarespace has been a long time partner of this channel and I'm so grateful because it allows me to afford to buy this tool twice. Uh, <laughs> I started my business, God, seven and a half years ago now. I know. And when I started my business, I was absolutely bootstrapping it, okay? I was very broke. I had just left my job. Living off the parents. I was living <laughs> off of my parents and I obviously was super fortunate to be able to have that, like my parents to take me in. Oh yeah. But I moved back in with my parents. I was really struggling with my mental health, just been diagnosed with PTSD. My guide dog suddenly passed away and I had to take the remainder of any money I had and pay for her medical bills. And I was really struggling, but I knew I wanted to start my own business. I knew that I wanted to be able to work for myself. A part of that is obviously launching a website, but I couldn't afford some big fancy designer and a custom website. And so I went to Squarespace and I was able to use the, you know, pre-built templates that they have to build my website. I've gone through a number of iterations of my website, but my website is mollybrookofficial.com if you wanna see an example of a fully Squarespace website. They have templates, there's so many tools. And as always, I gotta put my plug in for accessibility. Uh, please use tools like alt text when you are posting images on your website. Squarespace makes it super easy to do that. And yeah, if you're starting your own business, which I feel like a lot of people have turned to in the past, year um, or two, Squarespace is a really great option to be able to build a very professional looking website, but very affordably. And you can make it even more affordable by using my discount code, Molly Burke, to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. And I'm wishing you guys so much luck in your business. It's really crazy when I look back at like where I was seven and a half years ago, trying to start this business that is what it is today. This is not at all the business I thought I was starting, but it's the business I did start. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful. And it's tools like Squarespace that make it more accessible for people to start their own businesses. So thank you to Squarespace for being a partner of this channel. Okay, so the underlayer of my hair is done. I would recommend definitely starting with the underlayer because 
you can make mistakes and it doesn't have to look good because really nobody's seeing it. It's just the base underneath of your hair. So it's a good place to practice. Also, if you have bangs like me and you have trouble with them getting like greasy and oily much faster than the rest of your hair, a hack that I use all the time is just tying the rest of my hair back, wetting my bangs in the sink, using a tiny bit of shampoo, no conditioner, because that's gonna weigh them down, just shampooing them and then blow drying them. And that way you don't have to wash the rest of your head when you don't actually need to. Just a little tip. Now, here is like the important part for me because I can't like see the hairs to, ba to basically know when I put the next layer of my hair down which are curled and which aren't. And it's hard to feel when I'm doing it. So what I do is I take a second claw clip. I gently grab what I've already curled. I push it up which if anything just helps it kind of maintain that curl, like I'm essentially pinning up the curls, but less professionally. I take that claw clip and I clip it in the back. So, probably doesn't look cute. Look Can I see it? Yeah, yeah, it's super cute. So I have it like that. And that way when I release the next layer of my hair down, I know that all the hair that's down has not been curled yet. So I'm gonna divide it. I divide into three sections. So I'm gonna take right around the crown separate it and once again take that section of hair and pin it to the front then because i have the clip in the back the hair that is down i'm going to divide in the middle and pull it forward so now i have the two sections on each side of my head and as i curl i will pull the curl to the back so now i'm starting at the back and pulling back brush it out where's my heat protector found it i'm gonna use a little bit more I always feel for the nozzle first. The amount of times I've sprayed the wrong place. Do you spray it in your eyes? Oh, I've sprayed it all over. I've sprayed the damn wall, you know? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> Piece of hair. <laughs> like it's not blocking my vision. <laughs> Basically, uh, we're just going to repeat the process. It's not that interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, shut <laughs> up. That is so rude. By the way, on Squarespace, you can also build a storefront. I know I don't sell physical products on my Squarespace website, but you can. They also have marketing tools, analytics, um, SEO information, lots of good stuff. It's like weird. My hair is so deceiving because... Because it's fine and straight, it looks thin. It looks like I have thin hair. But I have to put it into three different layers because there's actually quite a lot of hair. I've had many hairdressers over the years be like very deceived. They'll like grab enough dye for my head and then they're like, oh, I need double what I thought I did. I love tools that beep. It's so helpful. Like, I don't want to sit here counting. Your 15 seconds might be a lot quicker or slower than my 15 seconds. Here we're seeing some sped up footage of Molly curling the rest of her hair with the Babyliss. No hair eating took place during the making of this video. We're done! I have completed my whole head, so I'm just putting it down. Um, so I'm now going to take the clip out from the back. By the way, over the years, many people have suggested that I just use a regular curling wand and a heat protectant glove. Now, let me tell you why that does not work for me. My hands are my eyes. It is how I feel what I am doing. And so if I have a glove on, I can no longer feel what I am doing. And that is the reason why that for me personally does not work. Maybe other blind girls have found a way to make it work for them. I have not, I've tried it. It's never gonna be my thing, so. That is why I try to find styling tools that allow me to curl my hair without the risk of me touching a hot barrel and burning myself. All right, now I'm going to spray my texturizing spray and kind of pull the curls out. It smells so good, this product. I'm gonna flip my head upside down and do it a little bit as well. My hair feels so fluffy. Okay, don't judge it yet. Don't touch it yet. <laughs> Brush down the bangs. My hair grows so fast. It's ridiculous. I realized that in, in like having bangs. 
they're like constantly getting too long. I'm always like, arms, trim my bangs. Okay, so this, before I like brush anything out, is ultimately the look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. So that's from the back, how it looks. What do you think, mom? Lovely, it really, really is. Can you see the full length of it? Yep, yeah, here, let's go down. There we go. I think that looks terrific. For only the fourth or fifth time ever. It simply smells so good. Yes, it's the Puff Me. It smells lovely. Yeah. Puff Me is very nice. Yeah, it smells really good. And it doesn't leave your hair feeling like crispy, crunchy. Like my hair feels super soft, mm. which I really like. The brushing it out part is the part that I'm like not very good at. I feel like I just don't know how to brush it out enough, but not too much. So I'm just going to take my fingertips. I've tried a wide tooth comb as well, um, but if any of my hair experts have suggestions of like better ways to kind of brush out the curl, let me know. But I mean, like I said, I, I am not aiming for perfection. I'm not aiming for this to look the way it would look when my hairdressers do it for me. Like that's unrealistic. I'm not a hairdresser and you know, hairdressing is a true skill, talent, art, science. It's all of it. Um, I commend you hairdressers, like it is not an easy job and you guys work really, really hard to make it look as good as you do. And so I know it's unrealistic for me to think that I could get that look. Um, but yeah, see, very nice. very thank nice. you. Yeah. In the front, you can see this one curls back, which is definitely what I would like. But in this side, you can see it curls forward, which I wish it curled back. But because I do it where it rotates back and forth, I don't really know what I'm gonna get, but it's, it's, really good. it's fine, you know? So um, obviously this is fresh, so it's gonna be as tight as it's gonna be, but I will insert maybe some like B-roll of what it looks like tomorrow morning. So you guys can see what like the rest of today and then sleeping has oh. done to it and what that looks like. But that is my experience as a blind girl curling my hair with the Babyliss Mirror Curl Pro 3, I think it's called. Um, and I don't know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it interesting, and that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for being with me on this hair journey, and thank you to Squarespace for being a long-term partner of this channel. I greatly appreciate it, and I greatly appreciate all of you who support my sponsors, because supporting my sponsors ultimately supports me, and other ways that you can support this. If you're unable to support the sponsors is by simply giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a comment. You can also join the Patreon club over at patreon.com slash Molly Burke. We have an amazing community over there that's so tight knit and fun. And uh, until next time, I'm wishing you all a blessed hair day. Love you. And you can click here to see, uh, oh God, uh, huh. What video, what uh, video, what video. Um, me and Bennix in New York City for his first time. Oh yeah. Or over here for huh oh oh a date night get ready with me okay see you next time bye